Tennessee couple fighting to change state laws tonight. That after learning their son's life had a price tag. They say he died because of a defective tire. But Tennessee has a cap on punitive damages. Here's News 4's Nancy Amons. October 2013. A church bus crashes into a tractor trailer on I-40 in northeastern Tennessee. Eight dead in the blink of an eye. One of them, 24-year-old Trent Roberts. He was coming back from a family fishing trip, his father traveling in a separate vehicle. I saw Trent's vehicle look like it rolled over a couple times. Trent killed instantly. Went down on my knees, put my hand on him, and I said, uh, Father, I know you will, but this is our buddy. Please take care of him. Trent's parents said through their investigation, they learned the church bus had a defective tire. They wanted to hold Hankook Tire, the manufacturer, accountable, but they found out the most their family would get, $750,000. Tennessee has a cap on wrongful death awards. Uh, we are the consequences of this law. The Civil Justice Act of 2011. The General Assembly passed the law in 2011 to discourage frivolous lawsuits and attract new business. But what we're faced with today is a situation of competition among the states. Businesses backed the bill. Citizen advocacy groups opposed it, but it passed. The Court of Appeals struck down Tennessee's cap law, saying it's unconstitutional. Now the case goes to the Tennessee Supreme Court. We would like the Supreme Court to really dive into this, to see the human side of, of the impact. Tennessee Attorney General Herbert Slatery plans to fight to keep that $750,000 limit. He declined an on-camera interview, saying in part, he has the duty to defend the laws of the state of Tennessee, adding that he's sorry for the Roberts' loss and understands their position. The Roberts have settled their lawsuit, but they say they want the cap struck down so that other families can hold corporations accountable when they manufacture faulty products. And then someday when we meet Trent in heaven, we can say, we did everything we could, buddy. The state Supreme Court doesn't have a date set for the hearing yet. Nancy Amons, News 4.